I want to take a step back. I want to listen to like maybe a, a smaller artist today. Mainstream pop music uh, overflow for me. Which brings me to what we actually are going to be doing today, ladies and gentle bitches, which is jamming out to one of my boy's recommendations, Ryan Hall. That's right. And apparently Ryan is an Atlanta native? Hell yes. But this album is 10 songs, 39 minutes and five seconds. It is titled Post Teen Angst. You can only imagine this is going to be punky, angsty, maybe a little bit of a hyper pop influenced. Only one way to find out. The first song is called Anesthesia. Hopefully it doesn't put me to, to forever sleep. Whoa. A lot of digitals. Oh, but the guitar. I'm in the backseat taking hits. It's something I have never heard of. And I don't think I've ever felt more alive. Ooh. Oh my god. That real bass. Ooh, that guitar. Oh my god, those drums are insane. The live drums. Oh my god, I wonder if he... Dude, that's crazy if he's playing all of this. Oh. Oh my god. The pitch? Oh my god, oh, oh, and we get a fade into the next song, let's go! Okay, wow, first track, kind of blowing me away. Yeah, I was getting like a lot of, like clearly glitch pop energy, but it feels really dancey, and I like that energy going into it. I'm in the backseat taking hits of something I've never heard of, and I don't think I've ever felt more alive. So cut a hole in my being, okay, maybe a bleach reference, okay, a, a hole through you and crawl right in. Oh God. Brace for impact. Take back everything that you said, but nothing we did. So he wants to keep the physical, but he wants to leave the emotional. It is a little edgelord, not gonna lie. It is, a, it's, 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 it's definitely on the, uh, the edgy side for sure. But I think it's fun, man. I think it's pretty fun, dude. I mean, that production is killer. Let's listen to the next one. It's with Atlas in motion and it's called Wait Up. Don't wait up. Oh. Oh, that saw wave. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. The acoustic. Last night, I think I lost my patience. Oh god, I can't I can't not sing that. Is that Drake? Last night, I think I lost my patience. Oh, I love this. Oh my god, the little voice memo. The flow. Dude, him saying fuck I'm the one fucking up the friendship with the snare coming in at the same time he's cursing, that's crazy. It's it's playing as a snare and a sensor. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't oh get my. complicated. I don't have the time to go find the pictures. Oh god, I love this palm muting. Oh the whispering. The fact that you're able to affect the world around the song as well, like stuff that you don't really notice, like background noise or maybe like somebody whispering in the corner, just the fact that there's like an attention to detail like that into songs like this that still have like solid songwriting, it just feels so good. It feels so taken care of. Even the fact that there's 
transitions, you know, like that kind of like big picture overall top down view, like going into an album. It's so important because that because you know that the artist is like not only dealing with the detailed shit inside the songs, but they're trying to think about how it's going to go and listen, how you're going to listen to it, too. Like, it's just it's just a, it's very nice. Very nice. Good. Good job, Ryan and Atlas. Very fun. Oh, but enough. Let's get into still. That was a beautiful ass transition. Let me get that again. It's my heart rate. It's my blood pressure. Oh. oh my god, I love these chords. What a great progression. Four, five, six, three. Oh, that's great. Oh. It's giving 1975 a little bit. fixated on stuff too. Crazy. Oh, the, oh, the chord change. Ooh, it's something's creeping. Something's creeping. Ryan. Close the door, Ryan. What? Okay. Okay, they close I the door. Ryan. What? I want to hear Ryan. We listen. You do it like right in the phone speaker so yeah. you get all like the bass in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. That's so funny. You never hear that. You never hear. <laughs> Artists being artists being directors. That's so funny. This this whole this whole little takeout segment feels like he's just taking us out of, of his own little matrix, and and now we're in real life now. I want to hear Ryan. I want to hear Ryan. Can you do it like right in the phone speaker? So yeah. You get all like the bass in your voice. No, turn it down. Turn it yeah, down. Yeah, right here. Like right here. I want to hear Ryan. Ooh, oh my God. She's saying I want to hear Ryan. I want to hear Ryan. You know what, girl? I I relate. We are hearing Ryan right now, dude. Let's hear some more of Ryan. Why, 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 why don't we hear more of Ryan? The next song is You Couldn't Love If You Wanted To. And I think I already heard this one, but y'all haven't, so we're, we're gonna jam. Oh, yes. That homeschool style production. Oh, I just, it's, I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh, and the little reverb swells, they feel so homegrown too. Yeah, dude, the vocal production. Oh, a little electric guitar choke. Yo! Oh my God, he, he, he did hit that break and he hit that. 
fuck smoking a small spot on a soul song? Bro, oh my god. That is a very breaking thing to do, but it's still it's 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 still bars. Fuck all these small talk about gay Fuck all of your small talk. Oh my god, yeah, that's crazy. That's oh god, he nails that. Fuck all these small talk about gay myself too much, you know I Oh man, the flawless transitions. Oh god. <laughs> Bro, hilarious way to end a song. Just by furiously tapping the play button, like, come on, oh fuck, oh, fucked up. That's so funny. That's so cool. And it still plays into the whole aesthetic that it's like being produced by him as well. It really does scratch your brain really, really good. I, I enjoy it a lot. Oh, I love that. That's so funny. That's so, that's such a great way to end a song. Holy shit. The next song is Home Wrecker. <gasps> Not my boy, Ryan. Ryan. No, he would never. He would never wreck a home. He couldn't even love if he wanted to. <laughs> you took the keys in my car last night. Ooh. Where'd you go again? Oh, this is very guitar driven. Regular. <laughs> Oh, this is fun! Ooh, the chorus! He doesn't love you like I do. It sounds a lot like The Wildlife to me. And you guys know how much I love The Wildlife. Ryan! Oh my god, that's so good! I love it! I love little outros like that. Yes! That's some real talent, bro. That's that's pretty fucking good, bro. The next one is post-breakup sex. <gasps> sex. Ryan, what are we doing? So skip me to death. Peace in my breath. You keep your roses and presents. Now break down my neck. Oh, it's so heavy. Dude, I love how instrumentally focused he is on this one. Oh my god. I know there's a bad end waiting on the other side of this stretch. So call me a narcissist, baby. It's too late in my bed. Woo! But I'm on the calls when I get eager. I just hope you don't pick up. Dude, there's so much in those moments. Dude, it feels like the, the volatility of the beat is playing into the volatility of this relationship. Oh, all the harmonics. At least he got a taste of you. Fuck it if it all comes crashing down. At least I got a taste of you. If you care about you, if you care about me at all, please leave me alone. Whoa. Oh. What was that vocal? Yeah, dude, him utilizing like the uh, the room tone, like spoken word kind of voice memo kind of stuff feels so good to like kind of like lay like layer those little voice memos like throughout the album to like pick up on. You can kind of like weave a story through them a little bit. And the next one is 
a cover of Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, but in his style. Just wanna warn you guys, not really warn, but just, you know, preface this by saying, this is probably like the best cover I've ever heard in my entire life. Like the way that it was approached, the way that it was executed, everything about this cover, once you hear it with his style, oh my God, and in context of the album, having broke up, having been ended the relationship, being alone, oh my God, oh my God, we're going. We're going. Strap in, bitches. Oh, just that one chord, though. That one hit Diffy. Come on! Tell them that everything's made to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. I just want the backing you vocals. To Why what? Why is everybody what, Ryan? Crying? You're crying your eyes out? Oh my god. Dude, that... Oh my god. I... 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 There's no words to describe that. Like, I will listen to the original version of that song and not feel a single thing. You know what I mean? Like, not saying that it's not good or anything, but just that like, yeah, I get it, I've heard it, you know, it's, 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 it's the Goo Goo Dolls, it's Iris, right? But hearing him do that with all of the emotional swells that are created in it, it just feels like it, it has this like rejuvenated polish to it. And I love when like really great songs get renditions and covers like this, cause it's like, yeah, it's that fucking good. And he's that fucking good. The next one is Obsidian Vulnerability. We're back into the isekai. We're back into Sword Art Online. Let's go mine some obsidian. Or maybe we're in, we're in Minecraft. Maybe he's a Minecraft guy. Oh God, that's such a good filter, fuck. Oh, that's so good. In our house, we took it. I don't to break it in. The vocoder. Oh, I love that little tension chord. Fuck you for thinking I would leave. Fuck you. See, this is that Noah Khan tempo. I feel like there could have been like a man, like, you know, mandolin. Roger. I might need a translation on that one, Ryan. I might need a translation on that one. Wait, do y'all know, do y'all know who that is? It's everything everywhere all at once. Oh, wait, wait, for real? Hold on, let me see on Genius. It is, even though you break my heart again and again, I still want to tell you if there's another life, I would still choose to be with you. Aw. Dude, our boy is down bad as fuck. He's quoting everywhere, everything all at once. Holy shit. This man is sad as fuck. He just lost like the his only love, it feels like. Okay, let's hit reprise. Okay, you see. Oh, oh my god. Ryan. Ryan, these acoustics. These acoustics, Ryan. It sounds like some shit I would produce. Oh. 
Acoustics taken front and center. Letting all the past electronicness wash off the back end. Does it end? No, it transitions into the next one! Into the next one! Oh my god, dude. Reprise could have literally just been the end. Bringing the lyrics back from the first songs. Oh my god. I will always be a sucker for that. God, you know who also does that shit is John Bellion. Mm. This kid's going somewhere, bro. I love this shit. I love it. And usually when it comes to hyper pop, it can be kind of hit or miss if they like overdo a lot of crazy stuff. But honestly, it just feels so refreshing to hear like really beautiful ass instrumentals. It's not all math rock, you know, not all of it. There is a lot of tapping and stuff, but like it just feels so personal. Like it feels so ingrained. I don't know how else to explain it, but man, oh God, that's... This is, this is great. And to my knowledge, this is actually his first project where he's fully going with this like production focused aesthetic. Cause he's released uh, albums in the past as well that kind of border on like R and B pop kind of stuff. So hearing that he's like totally committed to the sound and he's like making it, you know, his thing. It's really good. The last song is titled Everything Is. Does it annoy you when I look in your direction and you're not? No, it doesn't Ryan. You're just looking. That's okay. Oh, I like this pre. Oh, the pre, the pre-chorus chords. God, the tempo, dude. All right. Let's end it. Thursday. I still hear the click. I hear the click in it. Oh, yes. Hey, you know what? I love me a little click in there. I love me just a little bit of a click in there. What a great ending track. It's so beautiful. I could listen to an entire album of him just doing the acoustic thing. Truly. The production for this entire album has popped off so hard. I'm so glad that I finally got to sit down and experience this brand new Ryan Hall album. But thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate you guys. I will, uh, you know, obviously follow me on all my social media if you want to keep up with me for what I'm doing and whatnot. As always, stay happy, healthy, and strong. And I'll see you next week. Peace.